Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're in the beautiful town of Rithymno. Uh, we're going to explore the old town and the fort there and the harbour. Um, it looks like they've got some beautiful places to explore. So let's take you along on our journey of our lovely day today in Rithymno. So we're just going to walk through um, one of the famous gateways. It's like an archway really. here in front of the Ramondi fountain which you can actually drink from so it's fresh water for people. Ramondi Vinish fountain you can actually drink from it so it's very cool. This is the city map of Rithymno and it includes all of the new area of the town as well as the old part of the town over here and this is mainly the area that we explored. This is the main road coming into Rithymno, this is the bus stop that you would get off at and this is the information desk and then across the road here is the bus stop where you would return. We didn't really explore the new area um, the new town of Rithymno, we mainly went all around the, the old part. So all the little street areas, all the little things to see. Um, it was really lovely, really beautiful. Um, and a lot of ancient things to, to look at there. I mean, the fortress here at the top, the Forteza, you easily can get from all of the little streets over to that. And over to the right is where the harbour area is. So basically coming from the buses, if you wanted to walk down all the lovely old town streets any of these areas are going to get across here which would take you to the forteza the lovely fort there all of the old ruins or to the right hand side which is where all the harbour area is so we've just taken a break in a nice little taverna we're just having a a coffee, well I've got a cappuccino, so has Emily's dad, and Emily's got a cook. I'm just loving life, looking at the boats, here against the harbour setting. Beautiful place. You alright there Emily? I'm half dying, I've got my It's very hot isn't it? Yeah, I think you're going a little bit overboard with that though. We've, we've got a beautiful fan in the restaurant there. Keeping us cool. We'll have to have a little sleep, just a little nap. Just enjoying the beautiful view. It's really, really pretty. And there's lots of other little tavernas and little restaurants here overlooking the harbour. And there's obviously a lot of restaurants and cafes and things in the old part as well. But if you want to come and look at the boats and just taking this beautiful view, there's quite a few places. Just come out of the Seven Brothers um, restaurant. Uh, we just had a, a drink there, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, so we didn't eat, um, but I did take um, just a little bit of footage of the menu, um, just in case anybody was interested. Not necessarily just there, just to give you an idea of the types of prices that there could be around the harbour area. Yeah. But look at the scenery around. Absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. Um, so there's lots of places to eat and drink all around this, this area here. So it's absolutely yeah. just beautiful, it's isn't so it? Stunning. stunning. So we're taking lots of pictures and video footage, aren't we? Enjoying the view? Yeah. Enjoying the heat? Not really. No, I think Emily fell asleep most of the time in that cafe. <laughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. It is really, really hot. But to be expected, it's main season. And it's, it's quite a busy place. I didn't think it was going to be as busy, but around this area is not too busy, is it? No. The little windy right. streets are a little bit more um, busy. But again, it's the height of season, so 
you know, it's, it's going to be, be that way, but it seems a beautiful place, really, really lovely. Um, so I'll go to the screenshot now of um, the menu uh, that I took for that particular restaurant, as I say, just to give an idea of some pricing. Beautiful views of the sea and over there into the mountains and obviously a lot of more buildings, apartments and things such as that but uh, boats in the distance there and there is just like a little stretch of beach here which looks really cute and then across from there there seems to be all across this area here seems to be cafes, restaurants, shops there. so there's quite a lot to be honest, there's quite a lot to do and we've only come for the day or even just a few hours or so really just to have an idea of what it's like here but um yeah there seems to be quite a lot here in the area <laughs> what was i just saying emily trying to i was take a selfie, right? i was trying to take a selfie and then try to off. take some video and um i said oh the camera's so dark i just can't see anything but i realized i've not turned it on oh dear look at this beautiful lighthouse I think we're going to head over to more the fort area now uh, which is just the opposite side to where the harbour is so where we came through the old town um, you can actually go right and then it brings you to the harbour area which we've taken you around now or you can go left more towards the fort uh, which I think is like an old castle kind of ruins um, so that that looks like that would be really interesting so we're going to head across to the fort now and what you can get is the tour bus we haven't done it, um, but obviously it is something that you can get around all these streets. So that's a good idea to uh, explore a little bit more. And with Thimno, city tour buses uh, run very regularly. Um, you can do all of the sites in 90 minutes. We didn't actually do this, but it does look really interesting in the sense that if you had a bit more time and you wanted to explore. Starting point, uh, which is here, um, and you can go all the way around the different sites. Um, these are various different times of pickup. You can pick one of these uh, leaflet guides up from where we got the bus back to the hotels. So there is a little um, kiosk which sells the tickets um, and these are, are there just outside. Um, but I think at the information desk as well um, on entering into Ithimno, the information, tourist little information centre would have these as well. Um, so yeah, there's very frequent times in terms of going all around these different areas. So if you were interested in this, I'd highly recommend picking one of these guides up and obviously looking at over it yourself. But yeah, the, the red buses literally go all the way around with them no sort of good way of sightseeing. All this beautiful area behind. I just found this lovely spot. Plants and a little bike parked up and the shops and things around and vines above us. Just so many beautiful sights to see. Apart from my face with sweat dripping off it. That's not a good sight to see, but uh, it's exceptionally hot, very, very hot. shop I don't know that I think I've ever seen with all these beautiful pink flowers 
and it's just a shop underneath it. So wonderful to see all these lovely things. Look at this. It's like something out of Mamma Mia set. Beautiful. <laughs> Like grow chillies. Yeah. Lots of shops and restaurants and cafes. Yeah. You enjoying life then? Not really. <laughs> well I am, but No, the, the place is beautiful. Oh. Stunning. We're up in there. See the aircon. Whoa. So we've got to go up there to the uh Forteza. Go up. This is all part of the fort. If you go up you've got to come down. That's right, Emily. <laughs> In this heat, I think we're going to get wonderful views at the top though, because this already is beautiful. Oh, I can't go up there. It's very hot, isn't it? Hot. Let's, let's go up. So we've just paid to come up to the top of the um, Forteza. Uh, we're not at the top now, we've just literally entered it. But this is the beautiful view, just from this area here. So we're just going to explore. So it's uh, four euros each, or a family ticket for us worked out better. So there's three of us, and that was 10 euros. So let's go explore. So just from the entrance there, where you come to pay, you follow just along just a little bit. There's a little hut here. There's water, soft drinks, ice creams, and look at the prices. Prices very, very reasonable. So definitely, if you're coming here on entry, come and get some cool drinks and things from here. Got a slush then. So how much was that, Em? Three euros. That's not bad though, is it? Really, probably for a slush. The waters were cheap though, weren't they? Were they a euro, fifty cents? Yeah, I did the board. Um, I videoed the board. So we're here amongst all of these trees. Hey, that's a good idea, Emily. Sit there. Perfect. Let's sit, have a rest. Is it nice? parts of the Forteza and just uh, the history and oh, everything. Wonderful, beautiful, but one thing that isn't is the heat. So we've just come a bit further, walking around the Forteza. Oh, the breathtaking views here look absolutely stunning, amazing. Um, I've lost the hat just for the photos and the video. Um, that I wanted to take around this area, but the hat's definitely going back on. Absolutely stunning, stunning scenery. Look at this for a view. Absolutely incredible. Excuse the bee root first. We've decided However, to relocate. <laughs> it's beautiful. We have found the most air conditioning unit, but from a natural this is beautiful. thing. Oh my word. So this is like a little tiny hut. Look it's on the edge of the... Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk around that in a minute. It's crazy. Oh wow. This is just on like the main sort of area, isn't yeah. it? Looking down all the there views. There's a few, but oh my god. It's got a me by it being uh, a little tiny hut. Let's give got to uh, duck when you go in and out. But these are them. Absolutely beautiful. It's so cool in there. From the heat outside.
finished the video here now. We've had a really nice day here in Rethymna. Rethymna, that's it. Rethymna. You say it quick, it sounds better. <laughs> anyway, we've had a wonderful day. It's been absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Very, very, very extremely hot. But uh, looking through the old town and the harbour really and here at the, the Fort Eza, Fort area. Yeah. Beautiful scenery behind. It's absolutely amazing. So thanks so much yeah. for watching, everybody. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below if you've liked any of these content that we've been doing recently. Yeah, absolutely. And keep an eye out for all the other videos that we're doing here in Crete. So yeah. um, thanks for watching, everyone. See you Bye. next time.